everyone, it's Swoos, and today I'm bringing you May winners and binners. Oh my goodness, it's May. So, I've got them all out here. Let's start with binners, because I actually don't have many binners, which is really nice. Okay, Elf Shimmer Gloss. This one is in Hope. It's really sticky. I have three others. This one, the smell. I think it's off. It's... Just, I just can't bother. I just can't put it on. It's just the smell. The scent just gets to me. The others are fine. This one, Hope, has no hope. This one, Savvy by DB Waterproof Eyeliner is in Chocolate Brown. I have it on today. It is hurting my eye. It's not, it's soft on the hand, but on the eye, it's just, I've sharpened it. I just, I think it's just done. It's over. It's time to go. This little brush from Revlon Face Powder Brush, it's just that brush, the bristles, the brushels, the brushels, the bristles are really harsh on my face. I don't like that feeling. This is just a little brush I got from, I think, a Dares in that pack that I got for like a dollar junk. And this Molten Brown Warming Eucalyptus Bath and Shower Therapy. The eucalyptus was so overpowering. It was just like, whoa, didn't like that at all. This is an undecided product. Tony and Guy Shine Enhance Shampoo. This is the rich cleansing for maximum shine. This is the second time I've used it. I don't even know if I think this is good. I love the smell. It smells like Calvin Klein women's spray from years ago. It was in a red box. It smells exactly like that. But I don't even know if it was doing my hair any good. So I'm undecided about that. Okay. Winners! Winners! Imperial Leather Luxurious Mango Butter and Frangipani Body Wash. I had the avocado one before, watery, didn't work. This one lathered so much more better. So that was a good product. Finished off these Care Dent Easy Flosses, disposable dental flosses. Winner, you can't go wrong with dental floss picks. Creme Cornucopia Organica Wild Fig Body Lotion. This was lovely, loved the scent, and I love the pump. It's very handy to use. Still loving these. Coles 4-in-1 Cleansing Wipes. Need to get more of those. A couple of candles that I finished off. Glade Candle Apple and Cinnamon. This, even the, the paper smells like it. Loved it. And I still keep the little jars that it comes in. And also this one, Angel Whispers, also Glade. I've got that one in my room now. It's lovely. A couple of um, face products. Too Faced Primer. Primed and poreless. I finished this one off. It was nice and thick primer. I've just started a new one from The Balm. It's much thinner in texture. This is nice. Um, I think it worked well as a primer. My first face primer really that I used. And this little sample I got from The Balm Grapefruit Antioxidant Day Face Cream. I used it for about, must have been maybe a week, just in the morning. It was nice. The th thing, only thing for me is that I would love an SPF in a face cream, and it didn't have that. So, winners. Also, makeup items and some hair stuff that I'm loving. Sun Silk Captivating Curls and Waves. I've been using this a lot lately when curling my hair. Just spray a bit on, then curl it. Sets it really well. Also, my Astralis Makeup Finishing Spritz. Just I use this every day. Love it. Eyeshadows. Chi Chi Glamorous Nudes. I love this palette. I use it every day and I use, which is a dupe for Buck, this one here. I use it on my eyebrows every day with my Real Techniques eyebrow brush. And I've been loving, loving, loving the Nude palette, Nude Tude palette from The Balm. I just love this palette. I've done, I'm wearing it today. I just love it. Also, some other shadow that I've just kind of been trying to go through, some older stuff, L'Oreal Hip Metallic Shadow Dewa, and this one is in Shocked. I just really love this gold and green combo. I can get it open. Just really loving those, and with a, like a light brown is really nice as well. Stralis Fresh and Flawless, Flawless Press Powder, loving that. I finished off... Well, I've nearly finished this Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. I find with this primer, you put it on and you have to wait like a minute. Otherwise, when you put your shadows on, maybe this is just me, but when I put the shadow on straight after putting it on, the brush kind of sticks to the eye a bit more. So I've found out that since waiting after 
putting it on, the application of the shadows is so much more better. A couple of brushes from the Balm that I am loving. Crease, give Crease a chance and Crease Love and Happiness. I love these double-ended brushes. Only thing is you can't, I don't store them in holders that I have. It's better just to sit them in a drawer because they are double-ended. This one especially is just perfect for the Nude Tude, Nude Tude palette. It just, I think it's just the perfect size to dip into the shadow. This little Revlon, gosh, this is so old, um, Revlon Illuminates Cream Shadows. I've just been getting back into these, using it as a base. Really loving those again. Some lipsticks. Loving lipsticks at the moment. I've just got this thing with lipsticks. This is an old one. It's Rimmel 077 in Asia. Rimmel again, number 12. This is a Rimmel Kate one. And a Maybelline Make Me Pink. This is one of their Colour Sensationals. It's an old one. Just loving lipsticks. And this I got a little while ago from Models Prefer. This um, lip crayon. It's called Nothing to Hide. Ultra Lip Gloss Pencil. Just loving that. It's got a little bit of sparkle in it. Still loving my Prestige Brow Duo. Just loving the gold part using that as a base, which is really good for some of those nude tude shadows. Nude tude shadows. I can't say nude tude. Also, just another lip product I just forgot. Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner, and this one is in Red Rouge. And just a couple of eyeliners. Al Alme Eyeliner in black, and it also has a, like a little sharpener on the end that I've never used. But I just love that you can slide it up and down, so I really hardly ever use the sharpener. Just the application is so much better than the DB one that I threw out, that I'm going to throw out. This liquid eyeliner, this one's from Japan, Maker Mania. Just loving that. It's a really fine pen. Just, just love putting that on. Just so easy to use. So lots of winners. Isn't that great? Everyone have a great June. Toodles.